Well, it's a combination of factors. Um, but we do know that we're finding it most commonly and most intensely in areas with high levels of organic nitrogen and also areas that are very turbid with low light. And, and finally, also poor flushing rate. The water's not moving much. Where is that nitrogen that's feeding the algae brown tide coming from? Right now, we get the brown tide most commonly on the south shore of Long Island between Great South Bay and Shinnecock Bay. And recent studies have shown that the primary source of nitrogen entering those bays is coming from cesspools and from septic tanks. How can you be so sure of that? Well, there's been math that has been nutrient budgets quantifying the precise amount of nitrogen pounds per day from different sources. The atmosphere, fertilizers, septic tanks, cesspools, sewage treatment plants, and the math clearly shows that the large majority is cesspools and septic tanks going from land into this, these South Shore estuaries. So you can determine what type of, you can determine the source of the nitrogen in the water that's feeding the brown algae uh, based on what? Well, there's two ways. One is based on the math, the total amount of nitrogen coming in. But then there's been other studies we've done that have looked at the isotopic signature of nitrogen. Uh, and by looking at that isotopic signature, we've been able to identify that particular harmful algae, brown tide, but specifically red tide, is enriched in nitrogen that's coming from wastewater. How does it get from cesspool septic tanks into the bays where it causes the problem? Well, it's a, it's a long-term process. It's all delivered by groundwater. So it rains on the land. The land, that water that's raining in goes through into the aquifer. And as the water travels through ground, the groundwater travels through the aquifer, it's going towards the bay and encounters all the cesspools and septic tanks and takes the nitrogen with, us, with it and then delivers it out into the bay.